Jewish text is short and is inside the back cover, so you can't find it. Needs a group that reads well and could learn it quickly. There, there are pieces that you can beat to death that, that shouldn't be that way. If they're too hard for the group, by the time that they finally get the notes, they're not interested in going any further with them. So give it up.
these pieces, by the way, if I actually work them with a choir for a couple of days, the tempo that I'm doing now might not be the one I would end up with. With a, a bigger group or whatever, it might, might need to be slightly slower, slightly faster. So play around with it, make, make it comfortable for you and the group. Says for your top SA group required that they already have good breath management and listening skills, and it's well worth the learning process.
Woods and sure in the shiny night river, everybody knows this. <clears throat> this too is a Pete Spear advanced choir that the singers need to have already established some of the good reading <coughs> habits, uh, listening skills, sensitive musical phrasing, the ability to do all those things without overworking the piece. And of course, having a wonderful accompanist is a bonus.
right, so we end with I Got Shoes, another Stacy Gibbs arrangement. This is fairly typical Stacy Gibbs. It's straightforward, rhythmic, but be careful because pages 10, 11, and 12 can cause you some grief if you're not careful. Soprano always with a note or two at the end that are up in the strat stratosphere. So be careful, there's a high C that pops out of nowhere. I got shoes. I got shoes, Lordy. Shoes. You got shoes. You got shoes, oh Lordy. Oh, oh God's God God children got shoes. And when I get to heaven, gonna put on my shoes and walk all over God's heaven. Since I